Milot Solivan for Kimura. That is, he's standing here with Kaysas himself. Christoph Shashinsky, how are you, man? I I'm doing great. Great. It was a, it was a fun fight, fun night. Uh, excited to get, uh, get to the hotel and eat some food. <laughs> Just had a 30-27 decision victory over yeah. Goran Relcic. Tell us a little bit about the events that unfolded in the Octagon tonight. You know, uh, you know, I thought it was a little closer than that with those two takedowns. I was a little worried, um, but nevertheless, he really didn't do that much damage when he took me down. Uh, I felt I controlled the fight a little better with my striking. I felt I hit him a little harder. I, felt him more fre I hit him more frequently. Uh, I definitely felt I deserved the fight. You're sporting uh, a beautiful piece of jewelry on your arm right now. Would you mind showing it? Absolutely. Uh, looks like I broke my hand uh, late in the second round or right at the beginning of the third because the, the whole third round, I didn't feel my hands at all. Uh, both, they were both numb, uh, really, really, really numb. I couldn't feel them at all. I was just, I was just swinging, 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 trying to finish him off in that third round. But, uh, you know, conditioning played a big factor in this fight. I felt him getting more and more tired, and in in the, especially after the first, he's getting tired. The third, completely tired. Uh, I had great, great conditioning, get, got ready for, uh, for my fight with great conditioning, great conditioning coaches, and uh, that was definitely the main, main difference in the fight. You were once again looking for, uh, uh, one, we can definitely call it a signature move, the Kimura. You finished off Shane Prim, you finished off Brian Stan with them. To, 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 you got submission of the night twice, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, it was close. It was close. Um, we talked to we talked to each other after the fight, and he told me as soon as I cinched that he had so much respect for my Kimura that he just held on, held on, held on. That's why we were in that position for about a minute and a half because he didn't want to let go because I knew he was. I, I might have had a chance to grab it, and I was trying to pull on it really, really hard and, and try to finish it. But uh, he was strong. He defended it really well. I tried to go for it again in the third there, well, standing standing Kimura. He got out of that one. But uh, you know, one of these days I'll get him. I'll get somebody else with it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to finish off with a question. I'm, I'm probably wondering, somebody gave you the nickname. I think it was a, a website, cagepotato.com, a, a great website. They gave you the nickname K-Sauce. Do you, do you prefer K-Sauce or do you prefer the Polish well, experiment? To be honest with you, the, the K-Sauce came because Christoph Szynski, yeah. it takes too long to uh, yeah, give my signature. That, uh, actually, it all started up with when I first sat down in the, in the, in the UFC, for my first fight in the UFC, they make you sign 150 posters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me signing Christoph Szynski 150 times took forever. So about 20, 20 posters in, I just went, okay, K, SOS, K, SOS. And that's how the whole thing started. So, so K sauce is one of those short little synonyms for Christoph Szynski. Uh, the Polish experience has been with me since I very started in the sport. Um, either or is fine with me. Well, there you, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy Christoph Szynski post-fight UFC 122. We'll come back with more fighters. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you so much. You got it.